नमस्कार ग्रेट मैन इंटरनेशनल स्कूल की ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में मैं आपका स्वागत करता हूं कोविड 19 महामारी के इस दौर में मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि आपका परिवार पूरी तरह सुरक्षित है स्वस्थ है और बच्चों ने लॉकडाउन में बहुत एंजॉय किया अब मैं आपका सपोर्ट चाहता हूं इस ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में बच्चों की शिक्षा को हम अब स्टार्ट करते हैं और बहुत ही जल्द जो भी आपका बैकलॉग है हम उसको क्लियर भी करेंगे और एक नए तरीके से आपकी शिक्षा अब स्टार्ट होने वाली है पेरेंट्स का हमें पूरा सपोर्ट चाहिए आप लोग पिछले दस सालों से लगातार हमें सपोर्ट करते आए हैं और मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि अगर हम और आप मिलकर चाहेंगे तो बच्चों की शिक्षा का कोई नुकसान नहीं होने वाला है और हमें और आपको मिलकर अब एक रीस्टार्ट करना है नाउ लेट्स रीस्टार्ट बेस्ट ऑफ लक नमस्कार हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एट होम एंड एंजॉइंग योर सेल्फ बट नाउ इट्स टाइम टू गेट बैक टू स्टडीज so before starting let me introduce myself to you my name is ms priyanka tiwari and i will be taking grade 1 maths so now let's start hello students let's begin with our first chapter which is numbers up to 50 in mont class you have already learned counting from 1 to 100 in this chapter we are going to revise all the number names what comes after what comes before what comes between ring the biggest number ring the smallest number up to number 50 so let's begin students are requested to open page number 7 of your book the very first question which we can see is join the dots from 1 to 20 students while doing this exercise you need to hold a pencil in your hand now let's begin can you see two pictures on the screen you need to join the dots from 1 to 20 and after joining the dots you will see a shape will be formed so let's begin with the first one from number 1 as we start joining till 20 you can see a shape of an of a cracker is being formed in the same way you have to do this activity with the other picture given on the screen this you will do yourself let's move on to the next question you have already learned counting in mont class so let's begin with the counting hold a pencil and start writing with me what comes after one two same way you have to complete the counting from 1 to 10 now let's begin from number 11 what comes after 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 scholars you are requested to revise it at home also you can make a rough notebook and you can start writing in that notebook students now you are requested to open the next page page number 8 it's about place value can you see the numbers written on the screen from 1 to 9 
we use only one place to write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. When numbers stand alone, they are in the ones place. But when we use 1 and 0 to write the number 10, we need two places. We write 0 in the ones place and 1 in a new place before it is called the tens place. Now, let's begin with the exercise which is given below. Look at these people standing one on top of the other at the fair. How many are there? In the first picture, you can count. How many are there in the first picture? Ten people are there in the first picture. And one more is standing near. So, how much it becomes? Eleven. And you need to write the spelling of 11 in the space provided. E L E V E N. 11. In the same way, you have to write the spelling of 12, 13 and 14. Count it and write. Scholars are requested while writing, you can repeat the spelling. So that it becomes easy for you to learn. This will be your homework. You have to complete the spelling from 11 to 20 at home. Okay scholars. Now move on to page number 11. Here we will learn before, between and after number. First see the picture given on the page number 11. The loin is before the monkey. The monkey is between the loin and the rabbit. The rabbit is after the monkey. The monkey is just between loin and rabbit. This picture clearly shows how before, between and after is being used. Now, we will continue with some exercise using this yellow strip. All of you can hold a pencil in your hand and start doing the exercise along with me. Question number one is, using the number strips above, write the number that comes after. So the first number is 4. Just look at the strip given here. Where is 4? Four? 4 is here. Now, now, what is the number just after 4? It is 5. So what will come in this box? 5. Same way we will do with the next number. Next number is number 7. Where is number 7 in the strip? Here. Now, what is the number just after 7? It's 8. Yes. So, what is going to come in this box? 8. Same way, you have to do with 10, 15, 12 and 19. So, this you will be doing as homework. Now, we come to the Next question. Next question is, write the number that comes before. Now, using the strip, you have to tell the number that comes just before this number. Can you see the box? Box is before the number. So that means, we have to write the number that comes just before it. Now, let's see the strip. Number is 5. Where is 5? Five? 5 is here. Now, what is the number just before 5? It's 4. So, what we are going to write here? We will write 4 in the given space. Okay. Let's do with 15 now. Okay. Now, see in the strip, 
15 is here. What is the number just before 15? It's 14, right? So what you will write in the box? 14. Okay, scholars. Now, in the same way, you will do the other questions. Now, I will explain you what is between number. Write the number that comes between. The number, two numbers are given to you and between. What comes? That the number we have to search for. Like 5 and 7 is given to us. 5 is here and 7 is here. What is the number just be between 5 and 7? It's 6. So we will write here 6 in the given box. Now let's take some other example. 15 and 17. Move on to the strip. 15 is here and 17 is here. What is the number between 15 and 17? It's 16. So we will write here 16. Understood scholars? Now, the rest of the question, you will have to practice yourself. Now, students, come to the next page, page number 12. Here we will learn smaller numbers, comparing numbers. Comparing number means whether the number is small or big. Here we are going to learn it. Check this first picture given here. In the first picture, there are four balloons. And in the next picture, there are six balloons. Which picture has less balloons? Four or six? Yes, four. So, which is the smaller number here? Four. This is the way we do this. Now, let's do the exercise using this strip. Ring the smaller number. First one is eight. The second is nine. Which is the smaller one? Yes. Smaller number is eight because it's it comes just before 9. So, which number we will circle here? 8. Okay. Now, check out the next one. 6 and 4. What comes before? 6 comes or 4 comes before? Yes. 4. So, which is the smaller number? 4. Scholars, I would like to tell you one more thing. The number that is closer to zero on the number strip is the smaller number. Okay? Starting from zero. If suppose I have to compare 11 and 4. 11 is here and 4 is here. Which is the, uh, which number is just closer to 0, 4 or 11? 4 is closer, so 4 is the smaller number. In the same way, now come to this one. Ring the smallest number. Now, 3 numbers are given to you. You have to circle the number which is smallest among these 3. Okay, so using the number strip. We are going to do it. 7, 9 and 10. Just see the number strip. 7 is here. 9 is here. And 10 is here. Which number is just closer to the 0? I guess 7. Yes. 7 is closer to 0. 7 is the smallest number. Now, let's check out this one. 11, 13, 15. Which number is closer to 0? 11, 13 and 15. I guess 11. Yes, students. 
11 is the correct answer. So, this was how we can ring the smallest number. Okay, scholars. Now, come to next page, page number 13. Here, we will learn about bigger numbers. The number that is further away from zero on the number strip is the bigger number. Suppose, zero is here. And if I have to compare three and nine. Which number is far away from 0? 9 is far away from 0. Isn't it? So, which is the biggest number? Bigger number is 9. This way, now we will do practice this exercise given here. Hold your pencil in your hand. And scholars, every time I am telling you, again and again I am telling you, practice these sums at home. Okay? Okay, let's start. First number is 3 and second number is 6. Which number is far away from 0? 6. So, which is the biggest num bigger number here? 6 is the bigger number. Let's take another example. 20 and 15. Which is bigger? 20 or 15? Just check the strip. Yes, 20 is the bigger number. Now, come to this exercise. Ring the biggest number. Now, 3 are given to you. 3 numbers. You have to compare the 3 numbers and tell which is the biggest number. 2, 6 and 4. Which is the biggest number? Among these three, let's check out. Two is here. Six is here. Four is here. Which number you can see far away from zero? Yes, six. So, the correct answer is six. So, we will circle six. It was already done. Now, we will practice another one. Let's take this example. 12, 16, 14. In the number strip, 12 is here, 16 is here and 14 is here. Which is the biggest number? 16. Yes, 16 is the biggest number. So, we are going to circle 16. So, scholars, now the rest remaining questions, you have to solve it on your own. You have to practice and see if whether you are able to do it or not. So students, here we come to the end of the chapter and now keep practicing the sums at home. All the worksheets and assignments related to this chapter is given in the link in the description box. And if you have any doubt, doubts regarding this chapter, you can comment in the comment section. Until then, stay home, stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds every hour. Thank you.